May the love and peace of the Lord be with us all, as we listen to today's Gospel and Reflection. Let us now listen to the Word of God. October 9, 2024 Wednesday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke while Jesus was in a certain place praying, when he ceased, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And he said to them, When you are praying, say, Father, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, since we also forgive all who are indebted to us and lead us not into temptation. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How does your understanding of God as a loving Father shape the way you pray and connect with Him? Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. Luke 11 verse 1 What a great prayer for us to pray also, Lord, teach us to pray. Jesus' response to this disciple was to present him with the Our Father prayer. Of this prayer, Saint Andre Besset said, When you say the Our Father, God's ear is next to your lips. The great mystical doctor of the church, Saint Teresa of Arvilla, gave this advice while praying the Lord's Prayer. Much more is accomplished by a single word of the Our Father said, Now and then, from our heart, than by the whole prayer repeated many times in haste and without attention. And Saint Teresa of Lisieux said, that the Our Father prayer was one of the prayers she prayed when she felt so spiritually barren that she could not summon up a single worthwhile thought. At the Holy Mass, when the priest invites the people of God to pray the Our Father, he says, in part, that this prayer is one that we dare to say. This is an interesting statement, which especially reveals the childlike boldness we are called to have as we pray this prayer sincerely from the heart. It is exceptionally bold to call God, our Father. Chapter 11 of my Catholic worship, which offers a teaching on this perfect prayer, states the following about this boldness. Each Christian is to see the Father as my Father. We must see ourselves as God's children and approach him with the confidence of a child. A child with a loving parent is not afraid of that parent. Rather, children have the greatest trust that their parents love them no matter what. Even when they sin, children know they are still loved. This must be our fundamental starting point for all prayer. We must start with an understanding that God loves us, no matter what. With this understanding of God, we will have all the confidence we need to call on Him. Since many of us are very familiar with this ideal prayer, taught to us by our Lord Himself, there is a temptation to pray this prayer in a somewhat rote way. We can easily fail to say it from the depths of our hearts, making each word our own, offered with the utmost confidence to our loving Father in heaven. How do you pray the Lord's Prayer? Do you pray it out of habit, failing to fully comprehend and mean the words you pray? Most likely this is the case for many. Reflect today upon this most holy prayer given to us by the Son of God Himself. He is the author of this perfect prayer, so we should use it as the foundation of all of our prayer. Try to follow the advice of Saint Teresa of Arvilla quoted above. Take each word of that prayer and pray it slowly, intentionally, and with love. Begin by acknowledging God as your Father. Ponder the infinite care He has for you, as a perfect Father would. See Him in a real, intimate, 
and personal way. This perfect prayer begins by acknowledging who God is and then continues with seven perfect petitions. After praying the introduction to this prayer, pick one of the seven petitions to meditate upon so that the richness of this prayer will have a transformative effect upon your soul. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel and Reflection. We hope that our small effort gave you a bit of inspiration as you journey your day with God. Please give us a like so this will reach to as many people as possible. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.